What, was there a sense that uh, toward the um, you know early '80s that you know you were kind of running out of steam a little bit? Um, could you just talk about what was kind of going on at that time, and you know what, if any, sort of creative differences there might have been happening um, that caused you know Isley Jasper Isley to spin off and and you know uh, Ronald to to do his thing, and, and what happened at that time? Well, in, in 1980, <clears throat> uh, the Go All the Way album. Uh, that was supposed to be the first Isaac Jasper Isley album, actually. Um, you know, the group was having problems then. Um, but then we decided to stay together, so it became an Isley Brother album. But there were things happening um, within the group. Financially, was, financial problems were the biggest ones. But then there were creative differences, too. Um, and in particular, uh, there were some things some songs and you know that, that were done that were really written i wrote them for myself actually you know and i and i felt i should have sang them but there was a resistance from the older brothers you know what i mean and i felt that was hurting the material and it did hurt the material um you know i i really started to see us as a group that could be like the oj's or the temptations you know where you had two lead singers and they each, you know, did justice to the song that they were singing. You know what I mean? And um, it's kind of like, you know, having like Eddie Kendrick uh, sing My Girl. You know, it's, it may have been good, but it wouldn't be the same. You know what I mean? And that's what I was getting from some of our songs during that period after 1980. Um, which is probably why there was a little, you know, <laughs> little drop off, you know, uh, songs weren't really, some songs weren't really written for him, for Ronald. And um, I, I think that was the creative thing that was happening. And, and I, I think the group was hurt by that a bit, a little bit. Because, um, you know, a lot of groups had two lead singers. But I think the older guys for so long you know, Ronald saying everything for so long, they felt he should sing everything. You know? mm -hmm. And um, that was kind of what was happening creatively. But the financial thing was, was the thing that finally broke, broke the group up. You know, it was just, you know, they, they had the IRS problems and taxes and they never would take care of it right. And it was just impossible for us to stay together as six members. Well, it's a shame, but, you know, everything has to come to an end eventually, I guess. But what's difficult uh, as, a, uh, as a songwriter with other people in the group, you know, who are not songwriters, like, like the older guys, they were not songwriters, you know, they weren't writing the stuff. We, and me and Ernie were. And to try to get them to do what you want them to do sometimes it's difficult. <laughs> you know, it's, it's hard. It's hard. Some of those sessions were like pulling teeth. You know, sing it this way. Do no, do this, do that, you know, no, do this phrase, do that phrase. You know what I mean? And it was like, it sounds easy once it's finished, you know. But but it wasn't easy, you know? And um that's why I that's why I like the freedom of being able to do my own music because I can do it like it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? I can, I know, like some of those phrases, uh, I was talking to my wife in the car the other day and uh, uh, Between the Sheets came on. And I said, wow, that's, that's another phrase I had. That was, that was pretty hard for, for getting around to do. Mm -hmm. Ooh, baby, feel your love surrounding me. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know, those phrases, those are my phrases. I sang them first. And I was telling him, hey, do this, do that, you know what I mean? But it was hard. But it sounds, it sounds, you know, like it was easy though, right? But see, the, the point I'm making is I wrote a lot of stuff and a lot of those phrases are my phrases and stuff. And people don't realize it until they hear my current stuff. And they say, hey man, you know, you and Ronald sound similar a lot of times. But I said, hey, we like the same guy, Sam Cook. That's why it was easy for me to write with Ronald because I was a big Sam, fan. A Sam Cooke fan from a kid this high. I used to sing Sam Cooke music all the time. So it was like when I started to write, I said, hey, you like 
he likes that kind of thing too. So hey, I can write the I can craft a melody like this. You know what I mean? And um, it it worked perfectly. But um, the the point I'm making is a lot of those songs in that era in that era, like Love Merry Go Round and uh, It's All Right with Me and so I was supposed to sing that whole song. You know, it had a different feel to it. I have a little kind of rougher thing in my voice sometimes. You know, that's kind of like a, you know, a little more like soulful, like in, in in a way. You know, and Ronald's voice is higher pitched, and so some some of the songs were crafted for a more you know soulful kind of thing to happen. You know, I know that you always need a lover. You know, the more soul thing, not a nice little thing. You're talking about a, a love triangle, you know? How are you gonna be nice about that? You know, yeah, right. you know, you know what I'm trying to say? And, yeah, that, yeah. and, that, and that's, a, I was really mad about that song because it sounded like a top 40 smash when I sang it. And then they had Ronald sing the verses. I was like, for what? It's finished. You know what I mean? And, that, and that's what I'm saying. That, I think that's why the material suffered. Mm -hmm. You know, if you if you can imagine the stuff that you know Eddie Levert sang for the OJ's, if you took him off of the song, <laughs> why? You know, and I didn't know of it. I think it was like I said. I think it was you know them resisting what they were seeing too in the concerts because I was seeing I was seeing in the shows that people would go crazy. I mean, actually crazy, right? And then, okay, oh, you don't want to put that on the record? Huh? You, think it, well, you, you know, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm saying. It stopped being the music. Yeah. And, and when it stops, when you stop listening to the music, what the music is telling you, then it's time to quit. See, because something else is going on. When you hear, when you hear a song like that come back on the speakers, and you, and you say, oh, we got to change something. Then you, then it's like, it's not the music anymore. You see, it's something else. And that's when it's time to say, okay, let's go. It's enough. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened with the Isaac Brothers. Well, and, and Chris, hearing, you know, your, your solo work and, you know, hearing, you know, all those identifiable elements. And, you know, also I got to say on uh, Ernie's only solo album, Highwire, um, you know, could hear it in that too. And I was surprised when that came out because I didn't even know Ernie could sing at all. Um, he sang some, he sang some ITI stuff, you know, when ITI was together, you know. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I wish, yeah. I wish Ernie he laid down a, Ernie laid down the guy tracks too, you know. Ronald just copied, you know, what he sang. And then when I would sing, I would lay down guy tracks, he would just copy the same thing. That's, that's how we made the records. That's how we did them so fast. You know what I mean? Because Ronald didn't have to search for a melody or search. He didn't have to search for many ad libs. What what seemed to be ad libs were, were in the song. Wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? They were they were it went, crafted in within the melody. You didn't have to, you have to search for anything. All you had to do was just do it. That was the thing. Do it. And uh, hey, I mean, you know, Caravan. You know, Caravan was like. That's why Caravan was so big. It's because, to me, it's because, okay, it was like, this is what I wanted the Isley Brothers to do. 